welcome to this 10 minute powerful breath routine that will strengthen your ability to utilize oxygen. We're going to start by pinching the nose, moving the head up and down without breathing while holding the breath. You're going to do this until you feel a significant urge to breathe, not your max. When you feel a significant urge to breathe, let go of the nose and begin to breathe in less than you want to. Keeping and getting yourself into a state of air hunger where you're wanting to breathe more, but you're not allowing yourself to do so. We're slowing down the breath cycle, or if we are having a hard time doing that, we could pause at the top or the bottom of the breath to gain that slight sense of discomfort. We don't want it to get too uncomfortable. If it gets too much, give yourself a little more air. Again, very slow breathing low and light and low into the belly, into the nose, and continue this. This is your first round of very little breathing. Keep your focus as we slow the breath down, CO2 rises in the blood and delivers more oxygen to the tissues and the cells. Very little breathing. Go ahead and we will breathe normal in three, two, one. Begin to breathe normally through the nose only. This is a great exercise if you're experiencing allergies or asthma. down, side to side, whichever you prefer. Wait for that significant urge to breathe. It comes and when you feel it, you are going to let go of the nose and begin to breathe very light. It's going to be uncomfortable. You're going to want to take a big breath in, but you're going to restrict that breath and breathe light. You can close the eyes, you can do this eyes open or eyes closed. But we want to bring awareness to the sensations that we're feeling, keeping the focus that we're breathing less than we desire. And we're staying and keeping ourselves in a state of oxygen hunger. This has so many benefits that focus. When the mind wanders, just come back to the breath. Restrict it. You're almost there. Breathing light, breathing less than you desire. And experiencing air hunger. Not air deprivation, not oxygen deprivation, but just air hunger. Still 
breathing low into the belly if you can. And now we're going to round three. Hold the nose on the exhale. Move the head up and down or side to side, whatever you prefer. You can do this without holding the nose, but holding the nose is ideal. So you can do this walking or sitting, really anywhere. Continue. You feel that strong urge to breathe. Let go of the nose and begin to breathe very lightly through the nose, into the belly, giving yourself less, less oxygen than you desire. the air, keeping yourself in a state of oxygen hunger. You're doing amazing. Stay with it. With consistent practice, this will provide immense benefits. Continue breathing. Less than you desire. Staying in a state of oxygen hunger. Working to keep that state of oxygen hunger through smooth breaths, but you can pause at the top or the bottom. Now we'll begin to breathe normally and do our next round. Inhale, exhale, hold the nose and begin to move the head up and down or side to side, waiting for a really significant urge to breathe not your maximum breath hold. And then we will let go when we're ready of the nose and go right into another round of very little breathing. Keeping your state one of oxygen. that state of air hunger, almost there, staying committed, and here we're going to go into our last round, breathe normal for a few seconds, just a few seconds, and then we're going to inhale, exhale, hold the nose, we're going to do our last set, moving the head while we're holding our breath and holding our nose, until we feel that significant urge to breathe, letting go. the air for just about 40 more seconds. Stay committed. Last little bit. Stay committed. Breathing less than you want. Staying in a state of oxygen hunger. Almost there. Smooth, keeping calm. Then we'll go ahead and begin to breathe. Normally. You did amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Taking a nice inhale in, exhale out. 
thank you for joining me in